So for those of you who have followed my channel, you know I'm a big fan of this company. I have lots and lots and lots of their bags and I have never, 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 never been as excited as I am for this one. You wanna know why? Well, I guess we're gonna have to get into it. I already did the intro, so I am just gonna unbox this sucker right in front of you. I have not looked at it yet, as you can see. Still sealed everywhere. Uh, my address is on the other side, so I'm gonna do it this way. Now I gotta figure out how to cut this, so there and there. If you read the title, you already know what this is, but let's just say I am very, very, very excited for what this is. This is the Goruk GR1 Carryology Edition in Dyneema. And uh, I, I got the 21 liter version. It took a little while to get here. I know lots of guys have their unboxing videos out already and all that kind of stuff. Apologies if you follow my channel and you're waiting for me to do it. I'm sure there are at least one of you. Yeah, so for the one of you who was waiting for me to unbox this, I very much apologize and I guess thank you for waiting. Here we are, it is still in the bag. I am admiring its beauty. I can see already the titanium patch, which looks sick. Now, there are a couple of reasons why I ordered this bag. Number one, huge Goruk fan. Number two, I love the feeling and look of Dyneema. So when I heard there was a GR1 that was gonna have Dyneema, I was all over that. Third reason, I was feeding my baby at 5 a.m., my brand new baby. So if you follow my channel, you'll know I just had a, a daughter about a week ago, our first child. And I was feeding her 5 a.m., I saw the post from Cariology, click, 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 and uh, well, here we are. So that's how it goes. The 21 liters were a little bit delayed in some cases, and that's why mine is a little bit late, but Gora customer service, as always, was amazing when it comes to this, and uh, here it is. So shall we? Now I'm gonna just uh, rip it open down here at the bottom. So, so far I can say, my first impressions are the feeling of it, the Dyneema is thicker than I'm used to. So normally when I deal with Dyneema, uh, it feels slightly thin. I will say this feels thick in a good way. I do enjoy a bit of thick. There are a couple of reasons why I ordered the 21 liter version. So I have a 26 liter version Heritage and it has a pocket that is right along here. I actually prefer a 21 liter GR1 for my daily carry, so, uh, but I really, really wanted this pocket. When I heard this pocket was gonna be in this version, I knew I was going to have to have it. Um, this bag is staying in my collection, so bye-bye tag. See you later. I'm not gonna be selling this bag, I will tell you that. Uh, if you look here, there is a titanium patch, which is part of the limited edition um, thing. The patch itself feels very cool. You want to see? So there it is. It was uh, designed by, I think his name is Dan Matsuda. Apparently this is the, this is the soldier. This is the soldier that it would rock this bag. So I guess that's how that goes. I'm gonna leave that on for now so you can continue to look at it. So the bag came uh, slightly open here on the top, which is completely fine. Let's open it up. The zippers feel very smooth. The big thing about this bag was the Dyneema material. The Dyneema material is a slightly crunchy, but not as crunchy as other Dyneema I am used to. There is a uh, this orange stuff which goes with uh, this orange liner, which goes with Cariology um, products. Usually the Cariology collabs have this orange liner on the inside or orange somewhere. I do really like it in the GR because it gives it a bit of a, you know, it gives it a bit of a different look. I mean, and plus it's, I mean, it's high vis, but to me, I don't really care that much about the high vis part, but I will say I do really like the way it looks, this black with the orange. Ooh, 
it looks good. Here it says a GORUCK GR1 GRX C1 built in the USA, made in the USA here. And uh, yeah, I mean, um, I do really like this orange uh, on the Molly here. It has the same pocket back here and I can feel the inside of it has the Dyneema. You can see the Dyneema, um, the laminate. So Dyneema is basically like materials laminated together and you can feel the back of the laminate here. It's kind of a sailcloth. Um, I mean, just like any GR1, it, felt, it feels really, really well built. The zipper pulls feel great. The zippers feel, I mean, a little bit tight down here on the corner. Open this sucker all the way up. So there you go. So if you look, there's also that orange lining here on the bottom. And uh, yeah, I mean, not much else to write home about. It's a GR1 and a very, very nice GR1. I, I will say I'm pretty sure this is gonna be one of my favorite daily carry bags because, but not so much because of the Dyneema, that's like a bonus for me. For me, I wanted a GR1 21 liter with this pocket. That was the grail for me because I love, I love the GR1 and, uh, but it just lacked that pocket and I'm a small guy, so having the the GR1 26 liter is really long on my back, so it was a bit hard. Um, yeah, other than that, let's just see. The mesh feels typical Goruckian. The zippers are all the same. There's a very nice orange zipper pull there. Can you, camera, camera. Can you see that? There you go. And uh, let me show you the patch. You see that? There you go. Everything else, the straps. So uh, one thing to note is, um, before we get into that, the the pocket, uh, the straps uh, don't have anywhere to attach a sternum strap, which is fine for me on a bag this size. I don't mind. Um, if I really want one, I will uh, wrap one around here. Gorug bags always come with the straps like fully cinched, so. Let me uncinch them. Uh, this is 500 D Cordura on the back here. Um, laptop compartment, let's see. Inside is orange like the rest. Looking very good. Very similar to every GORUCK laptop compartment you've seen. And yeah, it's really weird to feel a GR1 in this material. Um, this is the pocket. So, so basically like the main reason I wanted to uh, get this bag is this pocket right here. So typically with a GORUCK, what you do is, typically with a GR1, you have this front uh, quick access pocket you can throw some stuff into, but it's usually tight. Dyneema has no give whatsoever. So there's no chance that this is going to be easy to access when this bag is full. So that's where this pocket comes in. So this pocket, it uh, opens like so, and it has a nice lining in it, which feels like pack cloth. And basically, that adds a quick access option to your GORUCK, and that is everything, folks, because there, normally you have only this, and if you wanna have a quick access, you'd probably be wanting to unzip this guy and go into this guy, but then that's two zippers to get in here, or you're leaving this open. Now, when the bag is at your feet, you can just get into this, have your keys, your wallet, whatever in there. So I'm gonna quickly pack into this bag and then that'll be it for this video. I have a bunch of stuff to do, including baby work. Lately, I've been carrying this bag, so I'm working on a review of it. This is the Huru. Honestly, this is actually a sick, sick backpack and one that um, I'm very excited to review. Uh, YKK zippers, um, very nice, like Japanese smooth YKK zippers. They uh, are all weather sealed, but somehow feel great. This big burly buckle. This bag is like, it feels like one of those bags, like if I was gonna design a bag, somehow I feel like I would end up with this. It's like if I took all my favorite things about like all the bags I own. Like, okay, so people say this is a Vandal, a Mission Workshop Vandal, but like Vandal don't, don't open clamshell. So it is not a Vandal, but it does have like the Vandal expansion. Anyway, it's not a video about this bag. I just wanted to point out that that is what I've been using lately. 
So to pack into the go ruck, I'm just gonna go here and uh, here these days, what have I been packing? So here, this is like my clothes sack, which I have been carrying forever and ever. Just gonna get that in the, this guy, pack that in this pocket here. I'm gonna use this shit out of this bag. Um, this, this is my camera. Uh, I have it in this Evergoods pouch thing. And uh, my Leica is sitting in there. I'll just pack that there. The best accessory on the planet is this GORUCK wired up. I love it. All my stuff is in here. Um, somebody asked me to trade for it recently and I was like, nope, this is not going anywhere. Okay, so this is my basic stuff. My hat, just throw it on top there. Uh, normally these days I use this pocket on a GR1 for my mask and uh, other Corona stuff. Zip that guy up. Now for the pocket, so in the pocket, I plan on putting my wallet. Also, go rock. Honestly, I'm not that, why well, I am a big fanboy, but I just wanna have a picture of my little girl in there. Yeah. So that, plus my AirPods. So anything I wanna get in quickly, get into that top pocket here. Top handle feels exactly like every other go rock I've ever had. And uh, the straps feel great, just like every other go rock I've ever had. Uh, this, my knife. Um, I'll probably put my knife in here too. There's lots of space. And uh, front pocket. Front pocket is, uh, yeah, it's a little tight. <laughs> it's a little tight. Front pocket, keys. Keys go in there, do that on every go rock and uh, there's my EDC perfectly packed out in this guy. So there it is, that's the Carryology GR1 21 liter. Um, I of course will have a video about this coming up soon. I will tell you all about it and my experiences with it. As you just saw, I quite literally just unwrapped it so I don't know much about it yet other than what I just shared. But uh, after a week or so, um, I will uh, come back with a, a bit of a video about it. Uh, it's important to note this is a $525 bag. It's not cheap, um, but you know, Dyneema is an expensive material. GR1s are expensive bags. You put those two things together, you end up with something very expensive like this. Uh, it feels very well built, just like every GORUCK product. So. I wouldn't worry about that. Plus, GORUCK has the best, the best warranty in the business, which I'm sure, or actually I know for a fact, applies to this bag just like it does the rest of them. Uh, the last thing I'm gonna say is that this bag is coming back on Huckberry Suburban in Hong Kong, and I believe uh, somewhere else in the next week or two. So uh, you will still be able to get your hands on one if you really, really want one. Uh, I would say just from my initial impressions, it is a yes. Let's um, talk soon. Hope you enjoyed. Bye-bye.